The microscope was only invented in the 17th century, and that's when the advancement of embryology started. So how can a book revealed over 1400 years ago tell us we placed him as a nutfa, a sperm drop in a firm settlement, then turn that drop into an alaka? Then we changed the alaka into a lump and then fashioned the alaka into bones and clothed it with flesh. Finally, we transformed it into another creation, carefully formed human. If that wasn't enough, it gets even more fascinating. The term alaka in Arabic can be translated into English in three distinct descriptions. The first of which is a blood clot. The second, a suspended form or a clinging state. The third, a leech. Sounds a bit strange, but wait. During the third week of the embryo development, it starts to form a tubular heart and blood vessels forming the cardiovascular system. And then the heart starts to beat and it starts to resemble a blood clot. In the early development, there is a connecting stalk which suspends the embryo in the extra embryonic cilium, illustrating its clinging state. Then at days 22 to 25, the embryo's shape and internal structure strikingly resemble that of a leech. All of these details are only visible under the microscope. These embryological verses not only describe the developmental stages accurately, but also metaphorically link these stages to images familiar to humans. Now, this is all really fascinating, and this is now going to lead us into the Mother series. So keep watching for more.